So the traffic light strategy is a visual tool to help you quickly visualize your strengths and weaknesses in your essay writing. This strategy involves taking three highlighters in different colors and going through your work slowly and carefully to identify sections you think are particularly well written in one color, areas you think could be improved in another color, and sections you definitely want to revise, change, or remove in a third color. If, for example, I was to take this yellow highlighter, this green highlighter, and this orange highlighter and go through my work, I'd be wanting to highlight almost everything on the page in these three different colors. It's an option for you to just highlight sections you think particularly respond with the different categories, but I like to challenge myself to highlight everything to ensure that I don't miss anything and I can go through my writing essentially with a fine tooth comb. So the traffic light strategy is actually something that I use in school, in university, and sometimes when I'm working now as well. The reason why I find this tool to be particularly helpful is that I can actually see which areas on my page need revisiting rather than feeling overwhelmed when I come back to it later and not really being sure where to begin. If I was working on a blank page. Good morning, Miso. <laughs> Using the traffic light system will give you a great starting point for how you can improve your work instead of feeling unsure about where to start. Sometimes in English, we can also focus intensely on our areas of improvement without recognizing our strengths. But this strategy is amazing is that it actually draws attention to your strengths and keeps it front of mind for you what your strengths are so that you can make sure that you keep maintaining them and if anything, actually continue to grow those strengths. So let's talk about how this strategy can be actually be used. The traffic light system is best used in your practice writing. At the end of the day, the hard part of English responses is often writing them. So once you've actually done the work here, it's worth taking the time to revise your writing with a strategy like this to ensure that you're getting the maximum value possible out of the work you've already done. Each English response you write has the capacity to further your skills. So implementing the traffic light system is a great way to actively work on improving your writing rather than writing a response only to move on to the next one without learning anything from your earlier attempt. This way you're actually leveraging your time in the wisest way possible. It's working smarter, not working harder. If you found this video helpful, then let me know in the comment section below. Like this video for me as well, so that I continue making videos on these strategies for you guys. Make sure you stay tuned for next week's video as well, where I'll be packing everything you need to know when it comes to literary devices. Stay tuned and I'll see you guys then. Bye.